Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a very quick video, but I just wanted to tell y'all the importance of talking to your kids and listening to your kids. So the first part is talk to your kids. When they get old enough to kind of comprehend and understand, it's important to talk to them about things that may not be the most comfortable. Make them aware of their body parts. Make them aware of what should and should not go on. Let them know that their private parts are for them. I know that sounds super strange, but it's very important to have those discussions. The reason why I say this is because when I was growing up, my parents had those discussions with me and someone tried to touch me inappropriately, I told. And when my teacher didn't listen, I told my parents and my parents were able to step in. But hadn't my parents talked to me about that and I didn't know right from wrong at that time, maybe that would have gone unnoticed. It inspired me to share with you all the importance of listening to your kids and having those uncomfortable discussions with your children at a young age because you never know. You can't always be with your kids. And although you love them and you want to protect them and keep them safe, there are going to be times when you're not there. Even if you choose to homeschool, sometimes these uncomfortable situations can take place with our family members. And it's an uncomfortable thing to think about, but it's the truth. So I just wanted to have this very short, transparent, real talk moment with y'all to let y'all know that it is okay to have those discussions with your kids at age two, three, and just let them know that it's okay for them to tell you, tell the closest adult, let it be known if something is going on that shouldn't be going on. Whether it be the inappropriateness or just like inappropriate in that no one should be hitting your child or bullying your child. Like, unfortunately, bullying can go on in daycare and preschool. There are some children that are exposed to those things very early and they repeat what they see. Other parents doing, other cousins doing, other people that are around them and they bring that to school with them or daycare with them. So it is better coming from you in advance because you can kind of set the tone, set the mood, let them know that you understand them, that you hear them, and that you're going to be there to make them feel okay no matter what happens. And it really made me feel secure when my parents listened. And it also made me feel confident in what to do after having the discussion. Now, there were some other things that my parents did not talk to me about. For example, my mom really did not prepare me for periods. Like, I remember I was watching Sabrina the, the Teenage Witch on TV when I was a little girl, the cartoon, and she got her period, and I was like 11 or maybe 10, and I hadn't got my period yet. And I asked my mom, like, she's bleeding, is that supposed to happen? And she was like, girl, shut up, yeah, or whatever. But she didn't really explain, and so when I actually had my cycle start in the, I think I was in the seventh grade, I was 13. I was freaking out and I didn't really know what to do because my parent didn't have that discussion with me. And so something as as natural as a period could be a discussion that you need to have with your kid. But if you don't have that discussion with your kid, then they feel uncomfortable about it. And then they feel like they can't go to you. But then in the same token, your parent may come to you and be like, I don't want you having sex or if you do have sex, you need to tell me. But it's like you couldn't even tell me when I was what to do when I was getting a period. But you want me to come tell you when I feel horny for the first time or whatever. So it's like I hope to be the parent that I can be transparent with my child about these things. Not make them grow up too fast, but not make them feel um, bad about things that are going to happen in their life. Now, I'm not saying that nobody need to be touching anybody inappropriately, but I know the world that we live in. And I know that some people are exposed to things in ways that they shouldn't be. So there's both sides of the spectrum. Like prepare your kids as best as possible. Make the door feel as open and welcoming as possible. But at the same time, give them that opportunity to know that you'll be there to advocate for them, even if the next person doesn't listen. And whether that's that uncomfortable period, uh, moment, or, you know, guys going through puberty and dealing with the erection thing, or just like someone bullying them or trying to touch them inappropriately in any way of the context. 
it is okay to have those discussions with your kids and have them early because you never know. And don't think like that wouldn't be me because it could definitely be you or anybody. It could be someone that they go to daycare with. It could be family member. It could be a church member. It could be somebody that you did not expect. That's usually what, how it works. It's usually someone that you don't expect. It's not someone that you would stereotype to do it. It's usually someone that you wouldn't. So listen to your kids, love on your kids, and leave the door open so that when they are ready to tell you things, you can hear it and you can understand where they're coming from and be able to receive and pour that love back to them with open arms. I would love to know your thoughts about this. Please comment down below. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.